there's another character that, that features very heavily in Nightfall, something we've wanted to do for a really long time, which is explore a Halo in a piece of Halo linear content. In the first game, Alpha Halo Installation 04 is discovered by humanity and by the Covenant, and there's a fight. Neither side at this time knows that the ring is actually part of an array designed to kill all sentient life in the galaxy. It's an ancient artifact that a long-vanished civilization abandoned, apparently, 100,000 years ago. Think about it as a 10,000-kilometer radius band floating in the sky. Uh, the outside surface is all engines and metal and, and mysterious alien technology. The inside surface is terraformed, so it's livable. It's sort of like Earth. Over the course of the game, you end up as the Master Chief destroying the ring. There's a small fragment that got out of the original system, and it ends up in this weird, irregular sort of orbit around this unidentified sun. So imagine this sort of curved fragment of this 10,000 kilometer band tumbling and spinning dangerously ever closer to this red giant. A dozen, 16 hours or whatever a day, it's directly facing the sun and experiencing extreme temperatures and then flopping back over. So in the night cycle, it's just about livable. When it gets into a day cycle, as it spins to face that sun, it can't control the temperatures. The, the technology isn't that good. So they have to do everything before the sun rises, otherwise they're gonna be burnt to a crisp. And so landing a, a group of operatives onto a surface of a ring that's doing that and saying, you gotta complete your exercise, your operation in 16 hours, good luck, is kind of what we, we had in mind for Nightfall. The reason we went to Iceland uh, is because they have some ridiculously awesome landscapes. Everywhere you point a camera in that, that country, you get a beautiful shot. I mean, everybody transformed that quarry into a burning hot, deadly fragment of an alien artifact. It gave us a, a truly alien place that matched a lot of the look and feel of the halo, but also had kind of a damaged, raw feel to it, which was very important because we're not exploring an intact, perfect, beautiful halo where you're exploring a little chunk of it. I will admit, I grabbed a couple of rocks that I brought home and said I have rocks from a halo ring. I'm kind of a halo dork, so that's how I roll. 